Hey and welcome to the first episode of my new 10HP series. It's been 7 years since I posted last and I thought I'd bring it back with a unique build, a prayer pure Iron Man skiller with the main goal of being the untrimmed prayer cape. The usual method for this kind of build would be running big bones from the big bone graveyard in the wilderness up to the chaos altar um, and using them on the altar. I think it takes 650 hours for 99. Um, but now with this brand new uh, expansion of old school RuneScape called Valamore, um, we have multiple different ways to collect bone shards. Um, you get it through mining, you can get it through thieving, and also hunter uh, with expansions in the future, hopefully including agility and maybe even herbal. And with these shards, you can turn them in on top of this mountain, um, for six prayer experience per bone shard if you're using jugs of wine with the sunfire splinters which is a item you get from hunter uh, in this area too so it's all combined so it makes for a very exciting build and in turn a very exciting series let's get into the stats so here we are mining in the mines of camtorum which has basically been my home for the last couple of hundred hours um, while I'm mining to 90, which is our current goal. Um, but yeah, it took us a couple of quests to get here and a rush to 48 Slayer, which was one of the quest requirements. Um, but now we're here. This is one of our best training methods um, up until 99 Prayer. As you can see, the main things we've been working on is we rushed 63 farming for belladonna seeds uh, to make poison dynamite. Um, mining, of course, because that's where all our prayer experience comes from. Well, the majority of it. Um, and hunter, we wanted to get 83 so we could catch uh, dragon implings for various things. And a little side quest we're on is runecrafting at Guardians of the Rift to get the um, Ring of the Elements, which is a great level three teleport. Um, but yeah, here, as you can see, are the bone shards. And we also get bone deposits from this rock, what you can use a hammer on and anvil, and you get extra bone shards and also um, teleports, which are down here called calcified moths. And they basically teleport you to the center of um, Camtorum. Anyway, I didn't want to make this intro too long, and this first episode will definitely be more of a catch-up episode, so we're kind of back on track, and um, I've explained everything, and we all know what we're doing. So yeah, another big thing about this account it is uh, 0 HP XP, which means we'll always be 204 experience away from 11 hit points, and yeah, that's just a nice little unique addition to it. Uh, to really make it the perfect kind of build. Uh, last but not least, here are the quests that I've done so far. Uh, nothing too crazy yet, only 31 quest points, and we'll definitely be getting that up. But the main ones um, that cause us a bit of trouble were the Twilight's Promise, where you've got to kill a knight with just poison dynamite, um, and it took a very long time to get the actual poison. Uh, plus the start of Perilous Moons, which, like I mentioned before, required 48 Slayer. Um, Priest in Peril, which we used an alt to Venom alt for zero hit points experience. Um, and lastly, Bone Voyage, so we can do uh, seaweed and various other activities on the island. Let's carry on. One of the first things we did on the account was rush 63 farming uh, via Tithe Farm. So as you can see here, we've got most of the, re the rewards. I think all we need is the can and the herb sack. Um, one of the main ways that we're going to get the Belladonna seeds uh, in the first place are contracts. So let's just see here how many have we done so far. Um, we have done 79 and counting. I believe we've only got two Belladonna seed drops, which is pretty rough, uh, but what can you do? But that'll give us a nice passive Poison Dynamite stat. So this is Valamore, uh, the new expansion, and where we spent most of the time on this account, as said previously. Uh, there's three main areas where we're going to use uh, the main bit, where we do the thieving, so we thieve at the bazaar. 
we get keys and we get clue scrolls and then we use the keys to um, thieve houses here which give great experience good money and also bone statuettes that you can use a chisel on and they give you um, I think 125 bone shards each so it's not the best prayer method but it still adds up and it's passive with great thieving experience the second place is the hunter guild where I spent um, I've done 120 rumors now I think um, but yeah it's great it's kind of like slayer for skillers uh, you get great loot and you also get bone shards and other bones you can break down over here is the altar I use a lot and here is the sunlight antelope uh, I mainly do these on task but I will be doing them off task too because they drop the um, sunfire splinters we use for our bonus to our prayer experience and then the third and most important place is uh, Cantorum, which I did the intro in, um, where I do most of my mining. And then up here is the Teomat, um, I think that's how you pronounce it, where you bless your wines here, and then you run over here with the bone shards and use them here. And there is an altar here to recharge your prayer. Um, so yeah that's the main thing so far um hopefully there's a second part coming soon they've hinted at agility and uh herb law being done here so i am kind of wanting to save my herbs up um, but maybe i'll use the ones i've got and then start saving from them in preparation um but yeah, I use this a lot. We got the teleport here. It's great. It's easy and it's close to a bank. And we've just done a quick uh, farm run and we're going to go back to mining. From time to time, there may be a scuffed clip like this, uh, just because I do a lot of the mining on mobile. 87 mining. Scuffed it again, but here you are. We have the armadillo robe top from an easy clue doing a bi daily belladonna run and that is 69 <laughs> farming uh yeah this is one of the big things for our account we're going to need a big stack of poison dynamite 66 rune crafting coming in and um, probably the last level we'll get for a minute um as we should have enough pearls to get our ring of elements let's go this is what we have so far after 100 and i think nine pulls at uh, guardians of the rift got a few cataclysmic talismans i uh, got the abyssal needle the giant pouch which is pretty huge and just over 200 abyssal pearls um so yeah i think we need 400 uh let's get to it and see if we get anything useful Alright, enough of the Euro music. We didn't get anything crazy apart from the Lost Bag, which is pretty cool fashion scape. But we do have enough pearls to buy the uh, ring. This is pretty huge for our account just because the teleportations are just so low. And there we go. Uh, we charge this with the law runes and the uh, elemental runes. And we can pretty much teleport to every um, elemental altar in the game. It's a big, big upgrade. So yeah, just chuck all the laws in, and now it is fully charged. Uh, we'll put pretty much every law we get, law rune we get in here. Nice. Finally, we did it. Cool. So here's just a quick overview of the rune crafting tab. Um, this is pretty much all the loot we've got from I think it was 66 rune crafting. So yeah, pretty good amount of laws, a ton of um, just runes in general. 
not sure if I want to sell these. I don't really need the money. Uh, I'll probably just keep them as a collection. Uh, we got the obviously the Abyssal Needle, the uh, Giant Pouch, and we went 93 pearls over what was needed. This is the one we use the most where we are right now. Uh, you go through. We do have teleports to get in the mine, but I've run out currently. So this is the quickest way. We go through the big gates under the mountain. Uh, we run through this. There's not a ton of shops here that we can use, but some are pretty useful. <clears throat> Please mind my zoom. Don't know what's happening here. But yes, you basically go into the middle. This is where the bank is. <clears throat> you turn right. You go all the way down here. Um, and the mine is at the end. So yeah, like I said in the start of the video, I spent at least two, 250 hours, I reckon here, maybe more. Um, but we will be going for 99 short term and then um, 200 mil at some point in the future. Jagex, I have no idea what's going on here, but it is not good. <laughs> Look at that, it's going through me. Come on. Probably one of the worst drops. But never mind, on to the next. We're just coming up to 89 mining. One away from our goal for this episode. And one more should do it. Two more. There we go. 89 mining. Let's go. Uh, 500k. I think that's around 12 hours till 90. Uh, we will be taking a break there. Okay, so we're just doing a little farm run before work, and we got a lamp. So if we use this, I've always used it on Slayer. I uh, could do it on Prayer too, but I just feel with the um, method being so AFK that it's good for Slayer. So here we go. That should be 52 Slayer. Let's go. And you can now kill Jellies. That came in fast. That is 90 mining. So yeah, this was our short term goal uh, for phase one. So um, we hit that. And the plan of the episode was to go into the bank and see how many bone shards you've got. Um, I haven't checked since level 82, I think. I had about 50,000 then. Um, but I'm actually going away for a week uh, where I won't be playing too much. and majority of the time i'll just be uh mining anyway so i don't think i'm going to check it yet i will check it probably the start of the episode uh two and then we can go from there from using them getting some prayer experience and seeing how the method actually works so just to finish off i think we should do a little bank review it's currently worth 18 mil that's pretty mad i'm not really sure why it's that much uh well this is just a junk tab i need to clean up this is my farming tab. Uh, we got stacking some nightshade for poison dynamite. We've got all our seeds uh, that we will get through at some point. We've got not too many herbs uh, working. We just used all our Harlander working on our Rainer stack, which is down here. Put it at the top. Currently at 269 prayer pots. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's about that. This is our kind of skilling crafting tab and uh, we've got all the other random bits in here haven't done too much this is our keys for thieving we need to get through uh, just some stuff from the room as we've got and I ended up cutting some tea clogs uh, just as a bit of an afk these are also valuables you get from thieving in valamore uh, you can trade them in I'm not too sure how much this is worth but i think it's around a mil or two it's pretty cool this is our outfit tab again need to clean it up but we've got the graceful i've got some fashion scape stuff some quest items uh, the farmer's outfit the rogue's outfit um and then pretty much everything else is just random fashion scape stuff this is our runes and teleport tab um got a pretty decent stack kind of went through this in a previous clip so i won't be to spend too long on that yeah, we got a nice couple of uh, teleports at the top, which is super helpful on a uh, Iron Man skiller. This is our combat tab. Don't use it too much, but I'll be using it a lot more when we start questing. Need to get the chaps back because I put them in a stash unit, which is quite annoying. Uh, but yeah, 
we have six poison dynamite at the moment but as you see here we have around 32 to make uh which is pretty good this is our clue skull tab we're currently stacking some caskets for the last city quest um got full uh elegant which is pretty cool the armadillo top which is in a previous episode and then just a few pages uh this is our junk tab completely random just throw a load of rubbish in here and here which i'm not going to click on is our bones and uh bone shard tab which is where all our prayer experience originates from but like i said previously we will be checking this out in episode two um from there hopefully we'll have a bit of a higher mining level uh, just from the afk and over the week and we will get down to using some bone shards all right well thank you for watching and i'll see you in episode two Peace.